Hello friends, this video on data handling part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have discussed about the bar graphs and the line graphs, now is the turn for the pie charts or the pie graphs. Now they look very different from the usual graphs. Now I, I hope you remember I gave you the example of the pizza. So when you take a, a portion of the pizza, that's where you actually visualize a pie graph because a pie graph also looks somewhat like this. It is also called a circular graph because in pie graph, we determine from a from part of the circle. So that's how it determines uh, different quantities. So pie charts depicts relationship between a whole and its parts. That means one fourth of the pizza, half of the pizza, one sixth of the pizza. So a pie chart will always tell in terms of how much, how many parts of the total. So what are pie charts? So these are those graphs or charts which depicts relationship between a whole and its parts. Now a whole means the complete thing. What part of that complete thing? So that is what is answered by these pie charts. So the best example to understand a pie chart is a pizza. Think of a pizza. Now what, what is this? This pizza has been divided into two equal parts. So what would be each of these parts? So this is half of the pizza. This also denotes half of the pizza. That means it is one part out of two parts. So this is half. Similarly, if you look at this slice of the pizza, how much part of the pizza it is? So this is maybe how many parts? Maybe one fifth of the pizza. So if you divide the entire pizza into five equal parts, so each part would be of this size. So this is basically one out of the five parts of pizza. When you look at this, here each part is one fourth. So each of these is one fourth of the entire pizza. So when you look at any of these, what, what do they depict? They depict the fraction of the whole. So here it tells it is one fifth of the total pizza. Somewhere it says it is half of the total pizza. Somewhere it says it is one fourth of the total pizza. So th that, that's the beauty of pie charts. Now you might ask that, okay, so how would a pie chart, uh, interpret data like uh, let's say that uh, few people like apple few people like oranges so how would that data be shown using a pie chart so let me give you an example so let us say this is a pie chart now we have a data that uh, 50 percent of the people like apple 50 percent of the people say that their favorite fruit is apple 30% of the people say that their favorite fruit is mango. 20% of the people say that their favorite fruit is banana. So now when you draw this in a pie chart, what happens? 50% of the people, that means half of the people say that their favorite fruit is apple. Right? Now here out of the remaining people, how many percent of the people say that they like mango? 30% of the people say that they like mango. So basically, it, it may be something like this. So let's say that 30% of the people like mango and 20% of the people like banana. So this is how you can draw a pie chart. So basically, you have divided that circle into three different parts and each part tells you that how much percentage of the people like apple, banana and mango respectively. So th that's how a pie chart is drawn for different sets of data. So now let us try to understand how exactly do we draw a pie chart. So drawing a pie chart. So we will make this uh, these steps to draw a pie chart more interesting by you know, relating it to a pizza. So the first step is draw a circle. So this circle is nothing but the pizza. So how do we draw the pizza? By drawing a simple circle. Fine. The next step would be determine the fraction. That means what part of this entire circle. Now how would you determine this fraction? That is one fourth. So one fourth means the entire circle needs to be divided into four equal parts. So how do we divide it into four equal parts? 
So for that, what we do is we draw an angle corresponding to the fraction that is 90 degrees. Now, how do we find out the angle corresponding to a fraction? Now, the fraction is 1 by 4 because we want to draw a pie chart corresponding to this pizza which we see here right so 1 by 4 will correspond to how much angle now the total pizza this entire circle corresponds to how much angle so this entire angle is nothing but 360 degree so one the total pizza that is one the entire one corresponds to 360 degree so how much would 1 by 4 correspond to so 1 by 4 would correspond to 360 degree into 1 by 4. So this would be 90. So 1 by 4 would correspond to 90 degrees. So that means we will have to draw an angle of 90 degrees. So how do we draw an angle of 90 degrees? First of all, we draw the diameter. So this is the diameter of the circle. And then from the center, we draw 90 degree. So this is 90 degree. Right now, once you have drawn this 90 degrees, so you have basically got this fraction which is 1 by 4. Again, this fraction which is 1 by 4, and now you can mark the sectors that is, you can divide it into four equal parts, and each part would be 1 by 4. So, basically, this is this is the concept that is used uh, in drawing a pie chart. So, in order to draw a pie chart, first of all, you will have to determine the angle corresponding to that fraction. So, the two most important steps are to determine the fraction and to determine the angle corresponding to that fraction so that you can draw the pie chart accordingly. Now, we will look at some examples for better understanding. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.